Good morning. Uh, Zaken Seo, or Zaken Sal, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, is wondering, Excuse me, how do you put the trigger on a character head of a live 2D character so that it goes to a different pose when you click on it? So, for instance, if they click on their chest, it goes to a shy pose, or, you know, hypothetically, you could click on their, like, uh, belly, and they give you a belly rubbing pose. They need a tutorial. Um, so we're going to do that. Uh, let's play it. See, this is what we're trying to do. If I click on his little head, it goes into a little animation. And then he says rough. And if I click on his bowl, it goes into a different animation. No text necessary. So I bet Zaken is really jelly right now. But that's okay because we're going to provide the answers to how to do this. And I'm going to start fresh. We're going to start fresh. Um, project lists. New project. We're going to name this one. And then we're going to click next a bunch of times because we're not particular. And here we go. A new project. I'm not even going to play it. You guys trust me. So. Uh, I'm going to show you how to import live 2D characters just in case you don't know. Uh, Tyranno Builder Live 2D. This is the page we want. Use live 2D games in your games. Okay, so this explains the process of how to do it, but I'm going to uh, show you anyway. There's a little um, site down here. If you click on that, there's some free. Uh, live 2D characters if you don't have one used. That's where I got this one. Uh, you want the data file for embedding one. The zip the zip file. Data files for embedding. See how that's the book. Data files for embedding. Those are the ones you want. So download that. And let's assume I have done that. Because I have. And um, so now we're all on the same page. So I'm going to go file. No, I'm going to go project. Add in components. Click on Live 2D, say OK, close that out, go over to here, to this button here, I don't know what that's called. We're going to add a Live 2D character. So now we got to find that file we downloaded. It is, I put it here. So here's our zip file. Now it's zip, so it ain't going to work. So right click it, extract that sucker, extract. It is extracted. Okay, so then I'd close that out because I don't really need it. And then I go um into the the non-zipped one. Okay, and I'm going to choose the JSON file, the dot JSON. Here we are. This is this is a little doggy. So I'm going to close this out. You can look at the different animations if you like. Let's let's go ahead and choose which ones we want. So when we touch his head, which one do we want? I like touch six. Because he's so cute. Uh, when we touch on the bowl, what do we want? Um, that's alright. That's alright. That's okay. That's okay. That's all. Then, yeah. I mean, he doesn't really do much. He just kind of shakes and nods. So is touch two a lot different from... No. Is, it, is that a lot different than... No. Okay, when we touch his bowl, he falls asleep, and when we touch his head, he puts his little face down. That's the plan. So we're going to go with touch six and idle four. So I'm going to close this. We were just looking at stuff there. We weren't actually doing it. Okay, so I'm going to um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this text box because it's going to confuse things for me right now. So this is all we have right now. We're going to. Go to add live 2D. Winko. We're going to position them in a place that we can. Let's say, I, let's put them here. Now, what I need to pay attention to is where the click, clickable area is going to be. So it looks like the lowest I want it is this, the edge of this front desk. And then it can go up to the chalkboard. Uh, and then we want it to go below these desks in order to be at the bowl, right? Maybe raise them up a little bit even. 
Okay. And the reason we do that is because he's not going to be there when we're putting the clickable areas in. So we got to kind of get an idea of where we want it to be. So I accepted that. And now we're going to put in our clickable areas. Boop. Um, position this. See how he's not there? So where was he? I believe that it was the edge of this this top desk that we wanted his head, that his head is. Okay. So I'm going to say accept. And just so we know which one that is, we're going to go, go ahead and put our label in. Here's a label. Oh, after the stop, put a label in, and we'll put a stop down here just to be safe. We're going to call this label head because that's where that is going to take us. And then we can tell this clickable area to take us to the head whenever it's clicked on. Okay. Let's go ahead and add another label. Um, this one we're going to call bowl. Accept. And now we need a clickable area that takes us to the bowl. It's going to take us to the bowl. Now we need to position it. I think it was below the desk. I would not recommend overlapping your boxes. I don't know what it'll do, but I don't want to find out. Accept. So that takes us to the bowl. Um, but now nothing happens in those labels, right? So we need things to happen. So live 2D motion for the head. What did we decide on everybody? I think it was for the head we decided on touch six. Oh. And then we don't want it to loop. I mean, you can if you want. I don't want it to. And then for when you touch the bowl, I'm going to put under bowl. What did, we, what did we decide on that one? It doesn't matter. We can change our mind if we want. Um, I can't remember what we decided. Let's go with idle 4. Why not? Okay. And so this should work, but we let's go ahead and so we can kind of keep on doing it, petting them. Um, we're going to return it back to up here after either of these is done. Oh, and uh, as it is, it's just going to run through both these animations. So we need to put a jump after this animation, and we need to put a jump after this animation, and we need to put a place for those to go to, which is going to be before the clickable area, so that we'll have those clickable areas again. So we're going to call this return. If you're confused about what I just did, don't worry, because we're going to go over it again. Um, so this jump is going to take us to return, and this jump is also going to take us to return. So let's pretend that we're playing. Uh, page break happens, background image gets loaded, our little character comes in. Uh, this is just a label, so it goes through this. We are presented with two clickable areas, and then it stops. It doesn't continue to run through after it gives us the clickable areas. So let's suppose we click on the head. Where's it going to take us to? It's going to take us to the target head, which is this label down here. So it's going to play an animation, then it's going to jump. Where's it going to jump to? It's going to jump to the return label, and then it's going to repeat. All right. If we click on the bowl, it's going to take us to bowl, which is this label here. It's going to play an animation. It's going to jump, after it plays the animation, it's going to jump to return. And it's going to repeat. So we're going to save it. Then we're going to play it. Think it's going to work? Oh, he's a little lower than I put him, though. Hmm. I don't know what to do about that. Um, but remember where our clickable area is? Up here. Isn't it here? Yep. So when I click on his head, ish, he does that animation and then it goes back to the idle animation. If I click on his bowl, he goes into that sleepy animation. Oh, he's asleep now. He's asleep now. And then he goes back into the idle animation. Now I'm not sure why he's lower than he should be, but this is working. Okay? So, if I've shown you everything you need to know, you can leave now. Um, I'm going to show you what happens with the text box, how to do it with the text box, just in case. And we might make additional adjustments to 
him so that he is positioned correctly. See how he's positioned differently here? See what happens if I raise him up a little bit. Save it. That's a little better. So if I click on his head, nothing's happening. Why well, ain't nothing happening? And if I click down here, okay, so I'm going to raise that. I need to raise this clickable area up a little bit. Oh, it's way over here. It's crazy. It's not even close to in the right area. Okay. So we'll put that there. Where's the bowl? Let's expand this a little bit too. Okay. And then we're going to move him just a little bit more up. Because even though I'm putting him on this desk, he's going to be on this desk. I don't know why. But, you know, we work around those problems. So, there he is. Position on the desk. Click on him. Yep, that's a lot. That's a lot smoother, isn't it? He goes into this little thing. Okay. So, now I'm going to show you how to add text. So, let's suppose when we click on his uh, head, he says rough. So we're going to have to show a text box when that happens. When we click on his head, it takes us to head, right? So I'm going to say show text. I'm going to say text. It's going to say rough. Well, it's more like a, isn't it? So how would you spell that? It's kind of like that. It's like a little bit of a bar. A ba ba bar. Er. A ba 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 ba. A ba. A ba 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 bar. It's kind of like that, right? Period. So then, um, after it shows that text, uh, we need to remove. We need to remove the text after it shows it because. If you have a text box, uh, clickable areas don't work. So let's save this and press play. There he's on the desk. If I click on the bowl, everything will work like it typically does. He goes into that sleeping animation. If I click on the, and I want to be clear, I'm not actually clicking on the bowl. I'm clicking on the clickable area we put in this area, right? It's a trick. And then if I click on his head, Goes through that one and says ah ba ba bar. And click again. So if I click on his head, ah ba 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 bar. Now, what you didn't notice when I click on his head, when that text box is here, he's not going to do that animation. He's not going to go ah ba 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 bar again. See, it's just going to clear it. Ah ba 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 bar. Okay, so that's how you do it. Good luck.